Harrison, thanks for coming back to our Mountain View location. Thanks for having me, Yoav. And thanks for tuning in again. Today we're going to talk about video viewers. Can you talk a little bit about what you guys are doing here? Yeah, video viewers audience is a really cool new tool that we are able to leverage not only on YouTube, but also across search, shopping, and display. So we can build audiences based on people who have liked our channel, subscribed to our channel, or viewed an ad from our channel. And then we can measure the performance of those audiences across all of Google products. So you're able to send different content to different people based on where they are in that funnel. Exactly. Can you give me a, a recent example um, of a campaign that you ran where you utilize this? Yeah, so for Carbon 38, we had upper funnel campaigns where we showed the user a branded ad, uh, someone in their leggings, maybe outdoors and you know, doing an activity. And then we took everyone that viewed that ad and showed them a different ad, a more like customer review UGC ad in the mid and lower funnel. And then we applied the video viewer's audience, since we were spending a lot on YouTube, across YouTube search shopping so we could really measure uh, fully how that our campaign was doing and how that audience would then go and search for br our branded terms or maybe on shopping for our products. So you were able to kind of leverage the campaign across search, display, and YouTube. Absolutely, and that's huge because we don't have to just measure it in YouTube. We can now see an audience and how they interact with our brand across the different products. So it really amplifies the, the performance. It ties everything together, exactly. Like it's, it's an amazing way to really measure the channel. What were some of the results um, from that example that you just gave yeah, us? Yeah, so for acquisition, it was around 4x return on ad spend for Carbon 38, and this is pretty, pretty amazing with YouTube. Um, also for just in general, we had 10 to 15x uh, blended CPA on YouTube alone. That's amazing. Yeah, and the video viewers audience was a big part of that, because again, we could track people across YouTube and, and our different products. So Harrison, what type of viewer audience can you create? Yeah, so the first and most impactful, in my opinion, is you can create an audience based on anyone that's seen an ad on your channel. You can also create an audience based on what ad they've seen, so you can, again, move them down the funnel. Second thing you can do is target people who have subscribed to your channel, so you can really start to leverage your YouTube subs and start to make revenue off of it. And then the other things you can do is anybody that's ever viewed a video on your channel or liked a video, um, you can target those users as well. So you really could start to get a lot of value out of your YouTube channel, not just through YouTube, but through these, these other products as well. So you're able to actually drive action from that YouTube video. Exactly. And, and with the audiences, you're able to bid differently on them across your, your different products. Um, a bit up or bit down based on how the performance is. Can you talk about that a little bit? I know you guys really use a complex um, strategy with how much you bid on these different audiences. Yeah, so take a video viewer's audience that you know has seen two or three video ads, apply it to your search campaign, and give it a 50% plus bid adjustment. So next time that user goes and searches for leggings, in Carbon 38's example, they're going to see a search ad from Carbon 38 because Google knows that user means more to, more to us. So. It's easier to convert a user like that because they're more engaged with the brand, they're, they've already been introduced with it, um, and they can have a better experience once they get to the website they know what to expect. So if I've been to the website and I put something in my shopping cart, I'm right. more valuable to you than a first time Exactly, user. and we're going to bid differently on you there. You guys are professionals. Yeah. But how can someone at home set up a campaign like this? Yeah, so I think this is where the real value comes for you at home. If you're a campaign manager, you're setting up a video viewer's audience, we're going to take you to a screen share and show you exactly how to do it. You're going to go to Tools, and then you're going to go to Shared Library. So Tools in the up right, upper right-hand corner. Go to Shared Library, and under Shared Library, you're going to see Audience Manager. And then in Audience Manager, the second tab on the left, you're going to see Audience Lists. You're going to create a new list that blue button, and then you're going to create a vid YouTube video viewers list. And it's that simple. And then you can create a video viewers audience based off of a channel subscriber, uh, based off of anybody that's ever viewed a video on your channel, liked a video on your channel. So it's really powerful, and I, my recommendation is for you to apply that to all of your campaigns. So apply audiences to each campaign. Exactly. And once you actually apply the audience, then you can set different bid amounts for each of those audiences. Exactly. Yep. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Harrison. Thank you, Yoav. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time.